Today, this is great. This is fantastic. I have to admit, I haven't been on the bus in, in uh, quite a few years, but um, this is a great bus. It's warm. There's a lot of people on here. The only thing we're missing are coffee and donuts. But uh, it, this is a great idea, and uh, certainly the FRTA has been uh, working hard to put the uh, crowning touch on their route system. In the last five or six months, they've had public hearings and public meetings, public forums, and uh, online uh, surveys to uh, try to satisfy the needs of all the people. There is something missing. We all know it's a Saturday transportation. Uh, and then another um, component that would be helpful was dealing with second, second shifts. Uh, for um, businesses and manufacturers in the area. It's almost a quality issue, you know, people should have uh, the opportunity and choice of getting from one place to another. Immobile people uh, and immobile populations uh, are not to the benefit of the individual or the community. So we can open it up, uh, take advantage of uh, some, uh, some studies we're doing now, and we'll see, uh, we'll see if we can design a a transportation plan that will satisfy a larger number of people in Greenfield. Right now it's still in the study. We've, uh, we're trying to uh, help out the school department which has a, a spend over 1.2 million dollars in transportation and uh, we've got uh, working very close with the Franklin Regional Transportation Authority so that we can uh, utilize uh, their experience and, and routes. Uh, we also have received a $50,000 pilot uh, transportation grant that we want to uh, use to design this, uh, this new system. Uh, our ultimate goal is to provide transportation that's going to meet the needs of um, students, uh, residents, and uh, workers at the courthouse.